Hi, this is Lauren from LSB Actions and I'm using the Lemon Sky collection to edit this image sent in by Karen Heck. The image is underexposed so I'm going to start here with the underexposed fixer upper base. I'll be moving quite fast throughout this edit. Um, to watch a more in-depth edit and an overview of this collection please do watch video one. The workflow multi-bases um, will set up a multitude of layers in a group for you, all designed for fixing and lifting and balancing out your image. So these are a great place to start with your edit. And once the action is played out, you'll notice an immediate difference if you turn this on or off. And then you can then go inside this group and edit some more. So we can see here the, um, the lights have been lifted quite a bit. I'm going to pull those shadows up a little bit more. We have a brighten more option here. I'll pull that down because I don't really want to lose the sky completely. some brightness and contrast. Um, we have histogram. So literally just kind of go through and click these on and off and see what suits your image. You have paints here too, so you just simply need to select a white brush. I have my brush always set to 100% opacity, 25% flow. I'm just going to use this to brighten those faces up a little bit as well, bring the attention in. And when you're done, you can flatten down. I'm going to use patch tool to remove this guy with this surfboard. So I'm simply going to just draw around him with the patch tool. You can find the patch tool up here on your spot healing brush menu. Just come kind of hover over it and hit patch. And you can kind of drag into a more acceptable area there. Don't forget the reflections. <laughs> you can remove any other distractions this way as well. Um, I'm not going to do that really too much for this image because there is no need. These aren't really massive distractions but you might want to. You just simply have to kind of replace the area with a similar texture. Okay, I think I'm going to play one of the skin foundations here, the cream skin foundation. This will just lift the shadows more and it brings a nice kind of creamy softness into the skin. These two little girls are kind of full body far away so you don't need to worry too much about all of the major skin details, but if you were zoomed in you'd want to avoid the eyes and the lips and anywhere else unless you wanted those to look soft. And flatten down. Now I'm going to come down to the finishing section. Although I may just brighten her face up a little bit more thinking about it. So I'm going to play brighten up face in the skin tone as action um, section here. just brings the attention in there. I'm going to add haze to this one. Just follow the instructions, a gradient box will pop up. You can kind of drag this wherever you want and hit OK. The action plays out and you can paint this off your subject. So this adds a really nice kind of beachy vibe to your image. Um, it's also great for forests and you know any other images you want to kind of add the haze to. You can double click here and change the colour. And you can also change the opacity too. Now I'm going to come down to the finishing section here, the signature washes and play beach bum. You can try all of these. It all depends on your beach image. I mean, some beach images are hazy bright, like this one. Some you may want more crisp. Some you may want to try some different um, overlays on. And the great thing about these is that they're totally non-destructive to your background. You can kind of turn them on or off, depending. I add a little contrast to finish. a little bit of a warm glow 
warming up even more. But I'm just going to put the opacity down. I'm going to add a vignette, a little bit of contrast, and then flatten to finish. Using the Take a Snapshot and Flatten um, actions throughout are great because you can come up into your history panel here. If you can't see history, go onto Window, click History, and you can see where you started and where you finished. You can also batch these actions across multiple images in the same set. So, say you had, you know, a whole series of these to do and you wanted them to look consistent, you can have them all open and batch. So that's using the LSP and Lemon Sky Outdoor Collection. The image is by Karen Hook, it's beautiful. This is available at www.lsp-actions.com.